It's been described as Little Mogadishu. Located east of Nairobi's central business district, Isili is home to thousands of Somali immigrants. Now, many of them are scared. 20-year-old clothes trader Abdi Sharif has lived here for five years. He's uncertain of what the future holds and with good reason. Isili has become a prime target for police determined to drive the refugees from Nairobi. Hundreds have been arrested here this week. I am very scared. Every night, police raid our homes. Some of my colleagues have been detained. This woman, too frightened to show her face, says even those who decide to return to the camps face harassment. They tell us to leave, she says, but at the roadblocks, they still detain us unless you bribe them. But it's not just illegal aliens and refugees who are being targeted in these crackdowns. Kenyan Somalis say that they've also become targets by virtue of their Somali heritage. The suburb's commercial sector is dominated by Kenyan Somalis. They have identification documents proving they are Kenyans, but say they too have been arrested. I was detained and taken to the police station, yet I am a Kenyan and I was not released until 2 a.m. I was arrested despite the fact that I have an ID. Even the person who came to bail me out was detained because he is of Somali origin. It's this incident last Sunday that's prompted the crackdown. Six people shot dead in a church near the coastal city of Mombasa. No one's yet claimed responsibility. But days later, Interior Minister Joseph Olelenku ordered Kenya's 50,000 Somali refugees into camps. Kenyan Somalis say they have nothing to do with the attacks. And many question why their leaders are not speaking up for them. In fact, we have the majority leader who is from the community, is the, in the National Assembly, is from the, Northern, is from the Somali community. And we are yet to see him talk these things in the way we feel as a community, as a Somali community. The government has tried the banishment order before, but was blocked by a court. This time, the police are determined to push the order through, and the refugees out. Robert Magilla, CCTV, Nairobi. Kenya.